Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Dawn and this is Dawn Does Keto. This channel is all about my accountability on the ketogenic diet. As you can tell by the title of this video, today is going to be a little bit different. We're doing a daily vlog in my life and what I eat in a day on the keto diet. I just woke up. It's Thursday morning. It's about 8.30 a.m. I'm going to get my day started and I'm going to bring you guys with me today. So give me just a minute. Okay guys, it's about 9 a.m. I'm in my car, as you can see. I'm not sure if I've actually really talked about this on my channel, but um, just to give you a little bit of history, my father-in-law was in a near-fatal motorcycle accident in October of last year. He was actually in a coma for about two months, and he woke up in January. He's home now, but uh, he requires 24-hour care. He's immobile, he's bedridden, all that that being said, and the reason I'm telling you this is because most mornings, the first thing that I do is go over to help my mother-in-law with my father-in-law. He requires changing, um, especially after uh, the long night. A lot of times the bed sheets need changed, you know, that kind of stuff. So the first thing I usually do is I get up, throw on some clothes, and I head over there to help her and see my father-in-law. He does talk, and you can have a conversation with him, and I get to see him every day, just about every day. There are some days where we can get some help a couple days a week. I'll see you guys again when I'm done over there. Okay guys, um, I'm back home and I'm just sitting on my front porch. It's actually a very nice morning. Uh, it rained last night so it cooled off a little bit. It's about 75 degrees right now. A little tiny bit overcast. The sun comes out every now and then, but just a nice morning. On Thursdays and Fridays, I watch my grandbabies in the morning. My two granddaughters, Olivia and Audrey. They usually get here about 10 o'clock, so they should be here any moment. I have them until approximately 12 o'clock, so just for a couple hours. And then I put them in the car and I go pick up my daughter-in-law at work and I take them all home and drop them off before I can really start my day. Right before I leave, I'll make my morning coffee because I don't usually break my fast until about 12 o'clock. I will show you guys that. Some days I just do a fat coffee. It depends on what I'm planning on having for dinner, um, how many meals I'm having that day. Today I think I'm going to do three meals because my last meal that I have planned this evening isn't super high in protein. So I will probably have, I guess it would be considered a snack, but I'm going to consider it a meal part way through the day just to give myself a little extra protein and I'm gonna do a keto chow coffee this morning so that will be a more high calorie drink you'll see it before I leave to go pick up my daughter-in-law I uh taught my two-year-old granddaughter how to make my coffee with the Keurig. Um, it was one of the first things I taught her how to do because, you know, we got priorities. So she loves to help Grammy make her coffee in the morning. I will add one package of Keto Chow. I usually like to do the caramel macchiato. Um, I'm not sure if I have any more of that, so we may have to go with something else this morning. I will add two tablespoons of butter, one egg, and my collagen because I always put collagen in my coffee. I've done that since day one when I started keto so it's just kind of a habit for me and I will also make some electrolytes to take with me in the car you're gonna find out today that I spend a lot of time in my car so I usually try to make sure I have plenty of water and electrolytes and things to drink while I'm in my vehicle that's it for now and I'm just gonna hang out here and wait for my grandbabies to get here and I'll see you guys in a little bit Tasty coffee? Yes. Good job. Thank you. 
No cheese. No cheese. <laughs> you don't want to be on the camera. <gasps> One, one more. Put one more in there. Put one more in. So there I have my coffee for the day and my first electrolyte drink which is a Zip Fizz. I also sometimes do Element and Ultima, it just depends on what I'm in the mood for. I really like the Zip Fizz because of the B12 and the energy that it gives. I know it's not as high in sodium as like Element is but I also just really like the taste of it. So there you have it. Okay, here we are. We're back in the car. We are headed to pick up their mommy at work and take them home. Um, I'm back home now, but I'm actually getting ready to leave. I have a tattoo on my shoulder, and let me just show it to you real quick. Just some hearts that have like my grandbaby's names in the lines. Olivia on this one here. I'm not sure if you can get that. And then it says Audrey on this one. Oop, over there. After I got that tattoo, it kind of got like infected almost. Because of that, the ink didn't take in some spots. The guy who did my tattoo asked me to come in today to see if he could go ahead and touch it up. So I am actually going to head out and go do that. And I will touch base back with you guys when I get back home. So. I'm back. It is all touched up looking good this is something i don't think i've ever talked about with you guys is what like i do for a living like what my job is so i owned a nail salon for 15 years i did nails for 20 but actually owned a salon for 15 years about a year and a half ago i retired from that a big part of that just being physically my back my neck i had terrible tennis elbow physically it was just uh getting too difficult for me so when i have time i actually door dash and I do that just wherever I can fit it in. A little here, a little there, when I'm free to do it. I just got home from getting my tattoo touched up and I'm gonna get something to eat, so I'll show that to you guys. And then it is now about 2.30 in the afternoon and I'm gonna go out and DoorDash for a couple hours until my hubby gets home from work. He stops to help take care of his dad after work. He gets home around four, so he goes over and helps his mom with like an afternoon changing and just making sure his dad is all settled. So he will do that right after work and he usually gets back to our house around five so that'll give me a couple hours I'm just gonna go out and DoorDash you know being on this keto lifestyle I mean think about how hard that can be sometimes when you're hungry and you're in the car and you're delivering fast food mostly I mean we do other things too but it's a lot of like pizza chick-fil-a and I'll tell you some days it smells really good but I have just become very disciplined to just kind of ignore it some days are harder 
hungrier than others, but I will make sure I eat something before I go out because if I let myself get super hungry, it becomes more of a temptation. So I just have to be really careful with that. I'm gonna grab something to eat real quick and then I'm gonna go back out. Okay guys, here's what I have. Super simple and super quick. Just uh, two pieces of turkey breast. It's a butter ball, but it's called Thanksgiving Day Turkey Breast. It's like a white meat turkey breast with the skin on. It has no nitrates. And then just a piece of salami with a Colby Jack cheese stick like rolled in it. And then I just pick it up. And then I have a ratio yogurt and a water. That will tide me over until we have dinner tonight. So it is approximately six o'clock. I just got home. Mike's already here, so he had put the lasagna in the oven and it's ready to go for us. I door dashed for probably about three, a little, right around three hours. It's actually kind of nice because I actually get caught up on YouTube videos. I listen to them, I ear hustle while I'm out dashing. I play videos and get caught up um, on the YouTubers that I enjoy following and listening to. So I'm just gonna show you real quick the lasagna. It is made with the Palmini Hearts of Palm noodles that we got in the keto box that we just did this past week. So I will link that video in the cards above. I also put a picture up of all the ingredients that I used. So you can see those. If you have any questions, just let me know. And we're going to cut this up and we'll let you know how it is. Okay guys, so I put it in a bowl because it was a little runnier than I thought it was gonna be, but here's Mike. Say hi. Hi Mike. <laughs> and he is going to try these hearts of palm lasagna noodles and give you his opinion. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't even know if I actually got a noodle on that one. Hold on. I mean, I put a whole layer of noodles in. Yeah, but there's one right there. Okay. So here's the thing. This lasagna isn't as thick as like what I normally make because I usually do like two layers of everything. But there weren't enough noodles in the pouch to do two layers. There was enough for like one and a half. So I just did one layer. But the taste is good. Let's go. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna have an after dinner Zevia. Zevia is usually pretty sweet for me. On one of the uh, YouTube channels that I was watching on the live, somebody commented that they cut their Zevia with just regular like sparkling water, so it's not so sweet. So I'm gonna try that. I'm doing like half Zevia, and I'm doing the creamy root beer. And then I'm going to cut it in half. I think it was on Watch Autumn Keto, actually, one of her lives that somebody said that. Okay, guys, let's see. It's good. It's just a lot milder. Which is exactly what I wanted because it was just, I don't know, to me, it's just too sweet. Some people love Zevia. My husband drinks it straight, just the way it comes. But I've always found it to be a little too sweet. So thank you to whoever gave that tip. So it's approximately 9 p.m. We are currently headed to Mike's parents' house. Around between 9 and 10 each evening, we head back over there just to help Mike's mom get his dad ready basically ready for the night um, and that's kind of where we're headed right now. I'd like to say our evening's almost over but it's not. We still got to play volleyball tonight. Okay guys it's almost 10 o'clock it's about quarter till. We are leaving my in-laws right now and heading to volleyball. Um, we play sand volleyball on Thursday nights. It's always a different time just depending on our schedule and tonight's a late game. Oh look how dark the screen got. Maybe I should this is kind of an NSV for me because Mike started playing sand volleyball a couple years ago, right? Has yeah. it been that long? And this was before I started keto and I was up around 233 pounds, 235 pounds, something like that. I had no interest in playing at all. I didn't have the energy for it. I just didn't want to get out there and look ridiculous because I was fat and couldn't move. I just didn't play. I sat on the sidelines and watched for the first couple years. This year, I just decided, you know what? I've lost this weight. If they need an extra player, because there were a couple weeks that they were short on players, that I could at least sub in. Now, keep in mind, I've never played volleyball before, ever in my life. 
maybe in gym class at some point, but I don't even remember that. So I just kind of jumped in there and I actually felt pretty comfortable. I'm not great, but I'm not, I guess, probably awful either. I can serve it over the net, so that's good. But it's just something that the keto lifestyle has allowed me to do is to be more involved physically rather than just sitting on the sidelines. My last drink for the night is I have more electrolytes that I'm taking with me. I just did a uh, blue raspberry Ultima just because it is hot and humid. I don't even know if they're gonna need me tonight. Again, I'm a sub, I don't play every week. I'm there if they need me, but if not, then that's okay too. I still don't mind just watching. <laughs> Those, bring those back, put them in the kitchen. Carrie. And then. Mike. Are you recording? Are we on yeah. Rump Around? Tyler. What? Rump Around? And then we, you know, then I had to go over to my dad. There's help, some of our teammates. <laughs> oh, so I didn't get to there's bed. Mike. There's Sean. Here come our last two teammates. There's Lily. <laughs> and Camden. <laughs> okay guys, so it's finally the end of the night. It's about 11.30. We're leaving volleyball right now. I did end up playing like a game and a half. We won one out of three, so not, not the best night, but still always a good time. This will pretty much wrap up today's vlog. Oh, it's very bumpy, sorry. I will see you guys on Monday with my regular struggles and successes for the week, and I'll do my weight update on Monday. And when you see me, I will have a new hairdo getting my hair done tomorrow to cover up all these horrible grays. I haven't had it colored since like April, so it's been about three months and the grays are just coming in left and right. I just don't like it. So you will see that when I finish out this video on Monday. So thanks guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay guys, it's Monday morning. Well, it's almost noon. I'll be breaking my fast here pretty soon, so I'm excited about that. Just to wrap up this video, I'm going to talk about my struggles and successes for the week. It was a really, really good week. I went out twice. I went out on Wednesday night with a couple friends. I kept it super clean. I just had a grilled chicken salad. That was it. I had cheese, lettuce, grilled chicken, a little bit of Frank's Red Hot on the chicken, just to give it some flavor, and a little bit of ranch dressing. Again, I know when you go out to a restaurant, you might be getting like some of those bad oils, but for being out to eat, it was definitely a super clean option. The other time I went out was Saturday night. And we went to a fair. We actually went to see a concert. They're called Seven Bridges. They are an Eagles cover band. Oh my gosh, you guys, they were so good. Like every person in that band could sing. I mean, it was crazy. They were super good, but it was a fair. So there was tons of like fair food and stuff. So I went ahead and what you guys saw in this video of what I eat, I just did a couple more of those turkey roll-ups, a thing of cottage cheese. And I ate that before I left so I wouldn't be hungry. And I took a bottle of electrolytes. I actually didn't eat or drink anything from the fair. I had my electrolytes and I had also taken an extra bottle of water so that when my electrolytes were gone, I would still have something to drink. It was really warm that night. So super proud of myself for again going to a fair with there were me and three other friends that went didn't have any of the things that the fair offers so also I talked to you guys told you guys I was getting my hair done so this is like the new do I'm sure it's pretty obvious but it's like a blondish like a strawberry blonde in the front and it's dark in the back just to kind of cover up those grays because I'm getting old guys how was your week this week did you all have a good week? I am floored that it's August 1st. Today is August 1st, guys. I mean, we are like officially talking about like back to school and heading into the fall. And I mean, it's just unbelievable. Where did the year go? I just don't even know. My weight for this week, again, I had a really good week. I got up this morning and I got on the scale and I weighed in at 179.2. So I lost six tenths of a pound this week, which I'm super happy with considering I had such a large drop last week, which was like 1.8 pounds. To lose another half a pound this week, I'm okay with that. I am inching closer and closer to hitting the 10 pound mark. When I started the channel, I was 188.6. So I need to get to 178.6. So you're talking less, I'm less than a pound away to hit that 
10 pound mark so that will be a milestone for sure and also I talked to you guys about the NSV about my clothes feeling a little bit looser this week I have a pair of jean shorts on that actually were too tight on me and now I can wear them that feels pretty good so even if the scale isn't like dropping 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 I'm definitely losing inches I can tell so I'm happy about that I think that's all I got for you guys so I can wrap up this video and get it out for you tomorrow if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel turn on those bell notifications so that when I do upload a video which is usually every Tuesday you will be notified thanks again guys for your support I'll see you next week bye Hello.